Hello, I am Dr. Rekha, Senior Consultant Dermatologist at Oliva Chain of Skin and Hair Clinics for the last 12 years. In this video, we will look at the best way to use shampoo and conditioner without damaging your hair and scalp. It is easy to get confused by the variety of information about this on the internet. But do not worry, as I am here to help you. This video gives you an overview of how to wash and condition your hair. Do note that if you have any serious hair related concerns such as severe hair loss, dry, flaky or itchy scalp, extremely oily scalp, rough and damaged hair or issues like resistant dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis, you must consult an expert dermatotrichologist. Each hair type and scalp type is unique and we must attend to its needs accordingly. The primary purpose of a shampoo is to clean the scalp and help you get rid of dirt, sweat, sebum, environmental pollutants, dead skin cells and any other residue from hair care products you use before the wash. While shampoos clean your scalp effectively, they might leave the hair dry, frizzy and unmanageable due to the removal of sebum. This is where a conditioner comes to the rescue. It is a helpful synthetic sebum-like substance that will restore hair shine by coating and flattening the outer cuticle. As many shampoo formulations also remove sebum from the scalp in the process of effective cleansing. It makes the hair soft and smooth, easier to manage and also improves its feel and appearance. Now, let us look at how to shampoo and condition your hair. Always apply shampoo on wet hair. Rinse your hair thoroughly, preferably with lukewarm water as it opens the hair cuticles and helps cleanse your scalp correctly. Take a required amount of shampoo which should be enough to use for the whole scalp. Diluting it with water helps as most of the shampoos contain surfactants in different variations. Diluting also helps reduce the harsh impact of shampoo on your scalp and hair. Shampooing is for the scalp. Gently but thoroughly massage your scalp to eliminate all the dirt and buildup. Do not use your nails as that may strip off essential oils and give way to infections. Gently spread the lather onto the rest of the hair. Then rinse out the shampoo with lukewarm water. Never apply conditioner to the scalp. After shampooing, part your hair into sections and apply the conditioner all along the length of the hair. Make sure you apply enough conditioner at the ends of the hair as they are the driest. Rinse off the conditioner after 3 to 5 minutes thoroughly, ensuring no residue for it may aggravate dandruff. Use cold water as it helps retain moisture. The way you dry your hair is also essential. Do not rub your hair with a towel vigorously. Pat gently using a soft towel and allow hair to air dry. Note that each of us has a unique scalp and hair type and shampooing and conditioning must be customized to the hair's needs. You can follow the step-by-step -step method I mentioned but the frequency of washing and conditioning and the amount of product to use depends on your unique scalp and hair type. no need to shampoo twice in the same wash unless you oil your hair or feel too much product. Using more shampoo than necessary can strip your hair of natural oils. Avoid blow drying your hair after washing as it may cause breakage and frizz. A particular hair care regimen has to be followed if you color your hair or try other treatments like color protect shampoos and deep conditioners etc. Don't brush your hair when it is wet as it may cause breakage. You now know how to use a shampoo and a conditioner but remember that choosing the right shampoo is also critical. It has to suit your scalp and hair type and also address the scalp's underlying conditions. The exposure you have to an external environment may also be hurting your hair health. Also, hair care regimen varies from person to person. 
If you are confused about choosing the hair care products or finding a suitable hair care regimen, consult a dermatotrichologist.